Hey guys, welcome to the Element Pack widget tutorial. In today's video, we will explore the ACF accordion widget and how you can customize it efficiently. Let's start. Let's start with the ACF plugin. ACF is a premium plugin, so if you are going through this video, please make sure to purchase ACF separately and install it on your website. If you already have it installed, simply click on the ACF field group option and then click on add new. Now, we will create a new field group for the accordion. Let's name it first. Then from the field type option, let's select the repeater module. Well, call it the ACF accordion. Also use the same label for the name slug. Then let's start adding subfields. The first one is a text field. Set the label to the accordion title, Then add a second one. This one should be the accordion content, as well as a text type. That's the basics of an accordion. Now, fold these two fields. And down at the bottom, select the visibility for the field group. Let's set it to pages. Now save changes, and the custom field should be ready to work. Now, let's open a new page from the dashboard. Let's give the page a title here. At the bottom of the page, you will see a custom field for ACF accordion. Start populating the accordion fields with custom titles and content. You will be able to add more fields by clicking the Add New button. Once you are done adding accordions, update the changes, and now click on the Edit with Elementor button. As we are inside the Elementor Editor page, let's change the page layout to Elementor Canvas. Save the page, and also make sure that the ACF Accordion module is turned on from Element Pack's 3 RD Party Feature Section dashboard. Now, inside our page, let's add a single column container. Then let's adjust the container padding for a sizable content area. You can also switch to mobile devices and adjust the padding accordingly. Now, add a grid inside the container. For the grid, let's start with a double column layout. Then, from the container settings, make sure that the maximum width is selected. Once again, populate the two grids with two containers. Now, for the right container, let's search for the ACF accordion widget and drop it inside. By default, it won't show any content. From the options, click on the repeater field, type ACF accordion, and select it. Then, for the next field, type ACF title and select the title. Same way, select ACF content for the third field. Just as you will see, the widget is populated with the accordion content. Now, let's make some twists on the design, adding an image on the right side container, then a heading widget on top of the accordion, as well as a button. Okay, let's remove the heading. We will use the advanced heading widget here. Now, quickly customizing the heading widget to make a nice comeback with a title. Before that, let's customize the button real quick. Perfect. Now let's work on the heading. If you want to learn more about advanced heading widgets, please watch this video. Now, let's click on the container and change the whole container background to something like this. A colorful gradient. Nice. Now make the content container background white. That's nice too. Then let's customize the padding a bit for the grids. Also, let's adjust the image on the right side. 
Now we can select our image here. After that, remove the padding from the image container, just to make the image appear at full length. At this point, let's focus back on the accordion. Click on it and select an active item number from the additional section. Remember, this number here is sequential and follows the content count on display. Now go into the Style tab for the accordion. First, let's change the item padding. Then change the background color to a transparent color. After that, change the font style through the typography options. Take your time with the typography menu, because there are a lot of options here. Now from the top, change the item gap to space the accordion items more. That's done. Now going back to the content part, let's change the icons for the accordion real quick. Back to style, change the item text color to black. The same black for the open and close icons. For the content, let's use a subtle black color. And then proceed to edit the typography. And also touch up the content padding a bit. Now, hit the update button. Then click on the container of the accordion part, adding border radius values for the content here. That didn't show any change, right? Let's do the same for the grid here. Now perfect. Let's do the same for the image part over the right side. One final touch. Select the accordion container. Let's add a background image to the container. Now, this is what we are talking about. There's no way users not going to fall in love with the content. And that's how you do it with style, using Element Pack add-in features. It took a bit of time, but fully worth it. And that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more content. See you next time.